hello friends this is the second part of uh, theory of camera calibration in this video, video i am going to tell you how to use those images which we taken in a previous previous video so here we go we capture those images few images and we have to keep those images in the, uh, the uh, console application where we created in your visual studio so here i created my uh, project in console application 4 so i keep all those images in my console application 4 so here are all my images you have to do one thing first go to c go to open cv and go to source in source go to sample in sample go to cpp where you get the file name stereo cali it's uh, this is one of the important file take this copy stereo stereo cali uh, dot cpp is your source code and stereo cali is the file which shows the name of your images which you taken so copy those two files and place those file to your console application for means in your visual studio and here already i had that files so i skip it uh, after calibration means uh, you have to go to source and add this zero calibration file here you can see that file in that file uh, you will uh, find that name stereocalib.xml that was the name of our your file and uh, size 9 by 6 shows you the inner corner of corners of your uh, that uh, chess board so uh, you have to build it and run it no force but to save time i already run this program and i am directly going to show you your output of this Um, file. So this is your RMS error. It's showing 0.84. It's the average reproduction error, and the output of your uh, rectified images. You can see. So like that, you will get. So you have to uh, match these corners of your images. If your chessboard you will match like this. These are the equipolar lines. You have, you you can add in. You can analyze it. If you close. it will pop up on next image and like that you have to recognize it so here we go stop after this calibration you will get two files in that uh, folder this is extrinsic matrix file and the another one is intrinsic so you can see the that r matrix p matrix rotational translation matrix you will get so you can use th this two files for your further calculation thank you very much